Only eight teams were good enough to make it this far, and only four can go on. Dick Vitale and I'll find out which of these teams will complete a piece in the Final Four puzzle after today's game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Duke Blue Devils. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Blue Devils are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. First, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second of all, reward your big man for running the court. Get him some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers can be the story of this one, baby. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. teams are looking to get something going here. Down inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Now trying to feed the low block. The skip pass is picked off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Left witch handles the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Fast break opportunity here. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Terrell receives the ball. They go into the low block. Leftwich is animated and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Up and inside. Try to feed the low block. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 25, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Unloads a three. It's good. The center receives the pass. He's going nowhere. Ball stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Gonna eliminate those turnovers. High post flashes. And there's a lazy pass that's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking for a good shot. The small forward handles the feed. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post flasher is open. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Sets the screen for his teammate. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Off the rim and no good. He uses the shot fake. 
Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. On the outside, got a wide open look. Looking for a good shot. He bombs from outside. He makes the shot. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Shoots way off target. He shoots from the top of the key. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Stolen. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. He shoots from the top of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Both teams looking to get things going here. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from outside. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, go in the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Gave it up. Executes the baby hook. In and out. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He's open if he wants the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Great play to take that to the basket. Fake. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. The ball goes out of bounds. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal.
He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Boy, terrible execution on offense. In the paint for two. Perfectly executed. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fakes the jumper. Look at that spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Count that as a personal foul. it fly makes it the defender right on his hip and I think he's holding his ground dick doing a great job I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries to get the D to bite. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Both teams looking to get things going here. Makes the shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? They're working around the arc. Thinks about the shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. High post player flashing. Kicks off the lazy pass. He may be in trouble here. Kicks off the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Buried it. Mm -hmm. 
He draws a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBA. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. And he'll kick it back outside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. It's a fast break possibility. The kick out. the dribble gives it up there's the fake now the turnaround jumper I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block now they work it around the perimeter takes the pass in the paint he puts it in with contact and all ouch that's what I call a hard screen Going to move it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position. A good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts up the shot. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He gets it to go. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets the bucket to fall. He unloads a three. Gets it to fall. Steals a pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from left of the circle. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. Well, he's on fire. the perimeter on the dribble gives it up intercepted and now coming the other way there it is Jam City we need an instant replay for this one
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Picked off, pushes it up. Foul charge, and a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with him right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. He goes to the free throw line. Routine. the post flashing if he wants it shots there if he wants it he looks for the bomb goes in Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. There's the trap. Steal. Got a guy right on him. Up and inside. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Scorches the net. <laughs> On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. With a half-court shot, he misses the tray. At the end of the first half, the Wildcats are ahead by 13. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ted just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Sinks it. That's a 7 0 run. has got the fans roaring and applauding. 
the people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. the pass step out on that screener for the bucket unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby dumps it in jumped in front to take it away problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you front it that's a seven nothing run now the turnaround jump i tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block Great double team, really explosive. Puts up the jumper. Duke are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Wildcats are up by 12. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's down with ease, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. The Wildcats lead by 11. Applying pressure. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunities. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Goes for the deep one. He buries the shot. It up looking for contact. The land. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a nice fake. Takes the shot. Duke are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Spin moves not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And off the mark. The point guard 
Barrett takes the feed. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. With the fake, the small forward takes the pass. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. Takes away the pass. Dump it inside. He intercepts it. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Terrell. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. The Wildcats go to the line for the first time in this game. He buries it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Good defensive stance. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. Tries for two. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Picked off. But inside from three-point range gets it to go they scored seven in a row <laughs> on the outside picks off the pass for two dick they're ripping up the nets tonight hey they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight great execution by these boys Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. The power forward with the ball. For the deuce. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The point guard gets the ball for the bucket. Great shot. With the jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. For the bucket. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. They work it back to the outside. 
on the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He wants a three. Way off target. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. Makes the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left to the circle. He shows the sweet touch. Double team now, bad angle. He takes it away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Picked off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. They move it into the front court. Great defense. Now they work it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. Picked out of the air. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Kentucky have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Look at that spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. 
Launches away. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And back they come the other way. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Jumped in front to take it away. Up and inside. He dials long distance. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. He puts up the tray. Drains it. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Duke is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. <laughs> On the outside, he shoots from downtown. Sinks the shot. <laughs> Here's a double team for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. This game's out of reach. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. Uh, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it on the inside. Tries for two. Easy one. Lighten it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He intercepts it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He gets the shot to fall. Now the 
turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. Picks off the lazy pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Shot clock is dead. There's a high screen. Got it. Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Kentucky takes care of business in this fourth-round game. Well, I'll tell you, Brad, they just proved they have too many weapons to be denied the big W. They'll have to continue to play like this as they face some of the stiffest competition in quest of the Final Four. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.